Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at Typhlosion here by itself. Yes, we're not going to be using it with Scent Scorch today. We're actually going to be playing it as its own attacker. Now, this thing's attack Lost Flame does 120 for 4 energy. And of course, with twin energy and triple, we can turn those into fire. Thanks for its ability. And then we put two energy from our opponents active to their into Lost Zone. So if, for example, against Dragapult, they have two energy on, we put those energy in the Lost Zone and leave them stranded. And that is the whole idea of this deck being very disruptive with the energy removal. Now, before we get in the video, I do want to give a uh, special shout out to my Patreon. I just created a Patreon yesterday, guys. So far, I only have one tier, and that is a $2 tier. It's for exclusive content. So if you guys want to just pledge two dollars a month you can see exclusive content a couple times a week on my patreon whether it be you know extra matches with a certain deck uh you know a legacy game or two a pack opening a set review uh, whatever the case may be you can get exclusive content on my patreon for two dollars right now um a month now i have other ideas for different tiers i did have a six dollar tier originally which was like six dollars uh, once a week, once a month, you could play me and then you battle and I'd critique your deck, you know, give you some cool ideas for, you know, how you could change it. Um, I scrapped that tier, uh, mainly because I, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Um, there are some other cool ideas that uh, people had in mind was like deck voting, like um, people would like submit a list on Patreon and like, I guess like the one that got the most votes I could use is like a deck for a, uh, a video and those were that was good that would be a six dollar tier for people who wanted to submit those lists and i think everyone in the two dollar tier could see that um and then they'd vote um so i might do that possibly in the future for now we're just going to start off basic and just keep it at the two dollar tier so if you guys want to pledge two dollars a month to my patreon and you guys want to see exclusive content uh pledge down below the first uh exclusive video is going to be a 200 pack opening of burning shadows so yeah before we get the video guys of course shout out to the sponsor card tcg as always guys if you're ever in any need of any pdcgl pack coach guys you're still looking to pick yourself up some rebel clash packs get them over at card Kevin tcg if you guys are also uh, happen to have any codes or cards laying around that you don't need anymore you can trade them into card Kevin tcg if you have any unused codes you can give them to card Kevin. they will give you some cash and in store credit for your unused codes and any cards in bulk you want to get rid of of course, so guys, if you're still looking uh, for any piece show code, whether it be any pack code like Team Up, Hidden Fades, Rebel Clash, or a specific GX or V code like the Zacian V Tin code or the Dene Trainer Toolkit code, get them over at Car Kevin TCG. If you get anything from Car Kevin, guys, use my discount code code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel, help yourself out, and help out Car Kevin in the process. So, yeah, shout out to Car Kevin, guys. Check them out and make sure to use code LDF at the checkout. So, let's take a look at today's deck. So, I'm actually kind of excited to play this. Typhlosion attacking by itself isn't that bad, and the attack Lost Flame is pretty good. Um, it does 120 damage, so you can one-shot Zacian V, which is pretty nice. And of course, you put two energy attached to your opponent's active into the Lost Zone. This is very disruptive, of course. It can hurt Dragapult, it can hurt Pika, it can hurt Zacian, because that energy can't be metal saucered. So it's a very powerful attack, um, and uh, Typhlosion is not that bad of an attacker. It's very disruptive. Like, against Dragapult, once again, you put those two energy in the Lost Zone, and they can't do anything about it. So that's why it is so good. Now, I am playing... Malamar in here. The whole idea can be like you Malamar one side energy on your Typhlosion, and then you attach a triple energy for your turn, and then do Blazing Energy. So that's why the Malamar is good in here. Because uh, this thing does have the ability to Blazing Energy, where you can put a triple energy on it, and you can turn it into three fire energies, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, some more stuff in the deck. Uh, I am playing Bolcephalon, Fireworks Bomb, we got Mew, we got Ditto, we got Eldegoss. I'm not playing Dedenne, I've actually opted for Eldegoss as the other card, because we can choose Eldegoss with our supporters, because I do have a few interesting stuff. I am playing a Team Yalgrun. Uh, for the maximum energy removal, it can remove up to three energy in a turn thanks to uh, Lost Flame. And I'm also playing a split of Marnie and Cynthia. Cynthia is really good for consistency, uh, but Marnie is also good for the disruption. So I was like, I couldn't decide between the two. So I went with both. Uh, yeah, I got all this typical stuff, you know, Evo or Evo, yeah, Evo Incense, uh, Ornay Rod, Calm, Quick Ball, Rare Candy, Switch. I am playing one Catex. Well, I want to play more of these, but it's kind of here to like bump like Thunder Mountain. So like Thunder Mountain, you know, can't use Pika's easily. Uh, got a supporter count, two escape boards, four triples, four twins, and four psychics to round out the list. Yeah, this is my uh, Typhlosion deck. Not a bad deck, honestly. Typhlosion is pretty disruptive, and if this thing can attack quick enough, you can really slow the opponent down by bidding the energy into the last zone. Alright guys, let's get into a match with this Typhlosion deck here. We're up against a, uh, a deck with types, and we'll see if we can body people by putting energy into the lost zone. Uh, so we do get to go first. We are going to go first here just so that we can try to get a turn to Teflosion. We do get the Jirachi and Inkei start, which isn't bad. We have Teflosion Twin in our hand. 
and a mulligan. All right, this ain't too bad. As long as Jirachi doesn't get killed, I'm chilling. All right, we're up against a grass deck here with energy retrievals. Could be an aggro deck or something like that. Draw an extra card. There's a Cyndaquil. You'll love to see it. Cartana. Okay, I don't know what we're playing against. All right, well, let's bench this. Stellar Wish. Should I just be greedy and take her a candy? I'm gonna be greedy and take her a candy. Because I don't think Jirachi's getting knocked out here. Um, I'm gonna bench Mew and just pass. I don't know what they are playing. So we're just gonna put Mew into play. Yeah, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be greedy and I'm gonna guarantee the turn two type lotion. I have confidence that uh, we're gonna get a supporter off of Jirachi. They grew an Eldegoss. They play a Sonya. Really curious as to what they're actually playing. I'm assuming this is an egg row deck. Like Sonya could get them egg row and Grookey here, I'm guessing. And we can beat egg row, obviously. One of the main traits about Typhlosion is it does happen to be a fire type. Now we can't one shot them because we're only doing 240. Yo, ADP? Bro, what? ADP Cartana? Yo, is that actually what we're playing against? We're playing against an ADP Cartana deck. Bruh. Oh. 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 ADP Beasts? We're playing against ADP Beasts. Alright. That's actually interesting. Alright, well, here's to hoping the Stellar Wish gets us a supporter. There we go. We actually got a Yelgrom we could have played. Uh, let's calm here for either Malamar or another Cyndaquil. I'm actually going to opt for a second Cyndaquil. This matchup might actually be a little tough to beat, to be honest. I'm actually kind of scared of the alternate Krosma. Okay, so. We do have the knockout here. We are going to take it. We do have a boss's order, too. We could play next turn to bring in this thing. If my opponent doesn't get a water energy, we can uh, hit that ADP and shove the energy into the lost zone. So let's see what our prize is. Typhlosion? No, an energy is good, though. We can put that on Cyndaquil. Now, they will probably will get the Alter Creation off, but if they don't have an energy, we are shoving it into the Lost Zone. Uh, we could also boss this thing and shove it in the Lost Zone. Oh, there's an Energy Retrieval. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. This thing's going to be stranded anyways, because we are going to be removing both the energies off of it with our attack, so it's all good. If we knock this out, I guess they can attack me with this. I actually really want to kill this Alternate Cosmo, but I guess they have to build it up first. If we knock out the ADP, they can't use um, Beast Ring. I think we can win this, though, to be honest. I think we... I'm confident we can win this. Even with Alter Creation possibly being a threat. Yeah, we're just going to chill out until we draw the Typhlosion. So we're just going to Blazing Energy. And we're going to hit them with the Lost Flame. And we're going to put those energies into the Lost Zone permanently. And now this thing is stranded in the active spot. They did get the uh, Alter Creation off. But nothing is really doing too much damage to me, so that's good. Yep, they concede. Pretty quick match, but we kind of just showed off what Typhlosion is all about. If the opponent relies on those energy attachments to power up, especially ADP, and we get that Typhlosion attacking quick enough, shove those energy in the Lost Zone, what can you do? All right, guys, get another match here. It looks like we are up against another Malamar deck, which I think we can beat. Ah, uh, it just depends on how we set up. I haven't ran into Dragapult yet, which is a little annoying. Really wanted to play against Dragapult, but nobody seems to be playing Dragapult today. Or Dragapult VMAX, at least. Not Baby Dragapult, but Dragapult VMAX. Okay. What the? <laughs> okay, I have no clue what we're playing against here. Get shot a couple extra cards. Hmm. Okay, no Cyndaquil. Hmm. I don't know what they're playing. Treasure. Are they playing a Dragonite deck? They are. Okay. Ooh, they got ADP? We're still playing its ADP? Okay, they do get a Water Energy on it. Alright. Uh, considering we don't have turn 2 Typhlosion. Can't talk. Turn 2 Typhlosion. Uh, okay, maybe now we do. So we can do this. Get Cyndaquil. All our Typhlosion are there, Rare Candy's all there. One triple surprise, which is fine. Okay, so I wish. Uh, there's Rare Candy. I'm actually gonna take the Escape Board though. So I don't think we're gonna get the Typhlosion in play. So I'm gonna take the Escape Board. I'm gonna pass. 
They're probably gonna get the Elder Creation off, unfortunately. They do need a Metal Energy, though. They're playing Metal, Water, and Psychic, or Lightning. That's a lot of energy, but... They're probably gonna get the Elder Creation off, which is fine, because we can still, hopefully, turn to Typhlosion them, remove the energy off the ADP, and go from there. See, if we took the Rare Candy with that Stellar Wish, and we didn't get a good card, that would've sucked. Ooh, they have a boss? They can boss something. I don't know if they're gonna do that, though. Yeah, okay, they have the energy spinner. They haven't gotten a Dratini down, so if we can get the turn 2 Typhlosion, we can remove the 2 energy, and they don't get a Dratini. This could be good. They might end up conceding again like the last guy, um, but we'll see. Okay, they are gonna boss. Boss my ditto. It's a little annoying. Now we have to retreat this thing, which is gonna happen. Oh, that, fe that feels bad, man. Dang, bro. Alright, let's just do this. Do we need Mew? Probably not. I think we just research. Hope for the best. Yeah, okay. We didn't get much. Got another Cynical, which is good. And NK. Alright, still I wish. Nothing, bruh! You're telling me that failed? Yo, that sucks. Not even like a rare candy for next turn to go double Typhlosion. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Alright, so they are going to get a knockout here, most likely. Unless, like, by some random miracle, they don't have an energy. Well, they do have a four-card hand. Alright, we're probably going to see a knockout here with Ultimate Ray. We go to Jirachi. We can hopefully Stellar Wish. Uh, as long as they don't bench anything that they can uh, specifically Ultimate Ray 2, that'd be good. Oh, they got a research, though. They do get rid of a rare candy, though, which is nice. ADP Dragons. ADP Dragonite, to be exact. Double. Oh, wow. Okay. They do have another attacker, and this is bad too. Since they are getting the energy in play, this does slow us down quite a bit because now they got extra energy in play, which makes it harder to remove the energy with lost whatever Typhlosion's lost flame attack is. It's just some bad starts, man. Or not bad starts, but just some some awkward starts. All right, come on. Let's see if we can draw something useful. Okay, that gives us the option to do double Jirachi, which is good. All right, there's a research. We'll take it. All right, we're going to do this, though. We're going to try to get another rare candy here for a Typhlosion. Nope. Okay. No rare candy today. Sorry, Typhlosion. This was not meant to be. And we're going to switch. We got to guarantee a triple or a tw a twin here and if we don't get it we're basically gonna lose well they probably have a switch anyways to knock me out it probably doesn't matter hey let's go we got the rare candy typhlosion we also got the malamar that's good okay we have a good setup the problem is it's a little too late because they already have the adp already ready to go the format is just too fast man don't know what to tell you still need a triple though too for typhlosion so we'll see if we can find it i think we prize a triple if i was if I am correct. All right, here we go. Lost Flame for 120 damage. Not going to two-shot it, uh, but we are going to bin the two energies here. Now we just got to hope that they don't uh, knock me out with double, which I don't think they can. They're only doing 150, right? Yeah, they're only doing 150 because we haven't taken a prize yet. So that's good at least. Uh, we do have a boss. Actually, what we'll do next is we can, if they don't attack me, we can boss the double and take the energy off. That seems like a really good play. So hopefully they don't have a switch. And then we can get rid of the energy off the double. That seems really good. That's a really good play. They could also... Oh, they got a switch anyways. But they're not knocking me out unless they drop a Vitality Band on. Which if they do, we don't get a triple. We're going to lose. Please don't play Vitality Band. Oh, I'm actually kind of scared. Prism Energy. Lance... No, oh, Prism. Not, not Prism Energy. There isn't even a Prism Energy. Why did I say that? <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be... Okay, so not knocking me out, which is at least good. We are still removing two energy. They still have this thing powered up, though, which is pretty yikes. Okay, so it looks like we would have drawn the thing anyways. Doesn't really matter what I do. I'm just going to blaze an energy here and hope for the best. We are getting rid of two energy off of this thing. We'll get rid of these two in case if I have, like, energy switch or something. Alright, well, we'll see if they can attack me here. Hopefully they don't have another switch in energy. Oh, they have an escape board. Bruh. And they have the water energy to knock me out. And then get more energy back into play. I don't know what to tell you, man. Just too 
Too slow! You can't keep up! Yeah, so we lose. So they knock out one more Typhlosion. Unless by some random miracle they don't have energy left. Which they don't. They got no other energy to play. Oh, maybe we have them then. Maybe. Team Yelgrunt. Yeah, we'll take this. Yeah, but then they get the energy back. Yeah, actually, let's take boss. Let's double down on the boss. Okay. Maybe we do have a chance after all. We should have attached a twin energy, though. We're probably going to be stuck. We should have attached a twin energy. Oh, man. I wasn't thinking. I should have put a twin energy on last turn. That's not good. Okay, lost flame. This is good. We do get to keep binning. They, apparently, they didn't get any other energy in play. Maybe they are out of energy here. We can't attack next turn. That is bad. We should have attached a twin energy. Ugh, if only I put the twin energy on. Dang it, dude. I didn't attach because I was like, we don't need the twin. I am regretting that now. We should have put the twin energy on last turn, and maybe we would have had a better chance. That was definitely my bad. They might actually be out of energy, though, to be honest. They haven't... What's that, an aura? On Dedenne. Okay, maybe they do have energy. They can't technically return me, which is good. We could boss a Ranguru and try to stall it, which could be a thing we could try to pull off. This thing's very cool, being KO'd. I want to knock this out as quick as possible. If we can draw a triple energy here, we can bring in the Dedenne, though, hit it for 120 and take that energy off of it. How much energy have we gone through? One. Three. Oh, reset. I am fine with this. Give me some triples. Nope. Okay. No, we did get a research. We could actually uh, switch. Oh, we are to switch. Ah, oh, dang it, bro. That's not going to work. Okay, there's a research. They get rid of Mewtwo, Dragonite. I gotta assume they're out of energy, because I feel like they would have attached the energy to the double by now. Because with that Ultimate Ray, all they had to do was knock me, knock out that Typhlosion, Ultimate Ray, get three energy on this, and then we're done for, right? But maybe they don't have energy or something? I don't know. I'm kind of confused. I don't know why they would put the energy in the Dedenne either. It doesn't seem... I guess to, like, do something, but they can't even tingly return, so I don't know what that was about. It looks like we have bought ourselves an extra turn, though. Which is pretty good. Uh, we probably just want to save that for Eldegoss, so... I'm just gonna do this. There's a twin energy, you love to see it. Do this, because why not? And we'll pass. Okay, next turn we get twin energy, we can boss this, knock this out. Or not knock it out, but put the energy in the little... Well, actually, I don't even care if this has energy on. I can't do anything with it. Maybe we just knock out the ADP. Maybe we just gotta deal with this thing. But we still have to take... Well, we still take a lot of prizes. That's not looking good. As long as they just have, like... If they're low on energy, we can keep bossing them. That's probably our game plan. We just keep spamming the boss's orders. That seems like our game plan. Let's see if they can get through this last Typhlosion. Maybe they can't. Maybe that's what this has come down to. Oh, they have an energy recycler. It's only one energy, though, so that's actually really good. Yeah, maybe they just don't have any energy left and they have to rely on Energy Recycler. That might be a that might be a thing. Again, they can go to Dene, but they're only doing 80 damage. And then we take the two energy out of play. That doesn't seem very good for them. Oh no, they could they could boss something actually and knock it out. They could literally win with static shock boss on Jirachi or Ditto. Oh my gosh, we might actually lose to that. Okay, if they don't do that this turn, we have to boss the Dedenne to make sure that doesn't happen. We have to do that. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's come down to that. That's actually nuts. They have Switch and a boss in their hand. It's game over. They are down two boss, though, so that's a good sign. They can't do Great Catcher, which is also pretty good. Okay, maybe they don't have a third boss. Yo, this is getting intense. I am very surprised they had no energy left to Ultimate Ray, though, under that double. Like, straight up, we would have lost if they had the way to do that. Unless they had no way to Switch, but still. We definitely would have been in a better spot had I uh, already attached the twin a turn earlier so we could have attacked. Okay, energy. Pa All right. Oof. Yo, we might actually have him. Let's go. Let's go. Boss. Blazing energy. Yo. We might actually have him. Let's see this. Here we go. Lost flame. Not knocking them out. That's the only issue with Typhlosion. It isn't two shot, but... Or it doesn't one shot. But we are going to get rid of more energy. They have a lot of energy in the loss zone. They are down eight energy. They're probably... They gotta be out of energy then. I don't know how they haven't done much else. We have Eldegoss, so we can get another boss here. The reason I didn't play Quick Ball, by the way, in case they, like, Marnie me or something. Or, like, reset me. I don't really know. 
It's our last quick ball. We might need it. It looks like we're going to win this, though. I don't... Wow. They're out of energy altogether. All right, nice. Let's just keep attacking. Do we have a Malamar left? We do. So I think we want to evolve this Ditto just in case they have a way to hit this for 40. We could still lose very easily to a boss. There's Malamar. All right, nice. Marnie. Okay, cool. And we have a boss with Eldegoss. We can just Eldegoss this up if they try to build it up. Whatever they try to attach to, we bring in and we hit them with that Lost Flames. You can kind of see how this deck is working in our favor. It looks like my opponent just ran out of energy. I'm very surprised because I just was like, oh, they knock out Typhlosion and we lose the game. They build up this, but looks like we're chilling. Yeah, this is pretty much that. We can evolve. Blazing. We knock this out. We have game next turn by just bossing this up. It looks like. So yeah, it's going to be that. We just lost Flame, knock out a Ranguru. And yeah, that's game next turn. We just boss's order up the ADP and we win the game. It looks like Typhlosion actually did its, did its thing. It ran him out of energy. You love to see it. Oh, is it? Did I speak too soon? Okay, one energy. That's not a triple energy at least. Oh, boss. Bruh, no. Oh no, I got too ahead of myself. Oh my gosh, yo, I did not expect that. I didn't even know that dragon I existed. What? Oh no. <laughs> I actually thought we had them. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. We should have knocked out the Dratini, but I did not see that coming. Wow. I knew, and he had a third boss too. That's ridiculous. Damn it, dude. I'm actually kind of mad. I did not expect that. All right, guys, get another match. We're up against, it looks like... Maybe a Pika deck. I don't know if we can beat Pika. They are really fast, but I don't know. Maybe we can do something. They're actually letting me go first, which is pretty interesting. Okay, we do have a Cyndaquil here. No rare candy Typhlosion. We're probably going to have to try to hit it here off of the Quick Ball. Or no, the next turn. Let's see what we draw. Okay, ditto. At least that's something. So we'll Quick Ball here. Could go Jirachi. I think we will. Do we have Quilava? We do. We have one Typhlosion prize. One rare candy prize. We have our swell. We have one triple prize. All of our twins. All of our psychics are there. All right. Well, next turn we can maybe Cynthia into rare candy Typhlosion twin energy. That is asking for way too much though. Maybe we should just retreat. But I don't. I don't know. We can probably hit like switch for skateboard though and go into Jirachi. Don't tell me they have a knockout. Don't tell me they have a knockout. Nice. They don't. We're chilling. I was scared for a sec. I was like, really? You actually have a knockout? Uh, let's see if they hit the ditto. That could be a problem if we don't get a, a evolution. No, they actually hit Jirachi. Knowing I'm going to retreat into it. Awesome. Oh, you hate to see it, bro. Oh, if only we had Uh, We got Swell. That's good. Basic energy is not bad either. We can retreat into Jirachi. What the quick ball here too. I'm gonna have to get another Jirachi, I think. We could get Mew. I'm just gonna get Jirachi. It's probably too late at this point for Mew. I will take research. Next turn, we'll have to just research and hope for the best. This is not a good start though. As soon as they do Electro Wheel 2, that's the problem. We have to hit this. We have to use Boss, I think, on this to try to bend those two energies. But we did get the uh, Swell in play, which prevents them from being able to use Thunder Mountain, which is really important, unless they have a Mars Shadow. Right, they play a Tate and Liza for five. They actually didn't play the E power. I just realized. Okay, nice. Unless we get punished here and they find an E power anyways. But them not playing E power is really good. Okay, nice. I don't know why they didn't play the E power there, but I ain't complaining. All right. Let's try to get the wombo combo. That's not going to happen, though. We need so much here to knock them out. Okay. Okay. If we can get rare candy here off of Jirachi. If we can get rare candy here, we have the guaranteed attack. Okay. Here we go. Give me a rare candy. I'm not going to get it, am I? But give me it. Come on. Yes, we got it. All right, nice. We actually got the rare candy. Right. The Wombo is real. Nice. 
All right, this is good. This is really good. We're also getting rid of two energy. All right, this is perfect. All right. Whoever said bad luck exists. Me, but not today. Not today. The luck is on my side. All right, go Typhlosion. Blazing energy. And we're going to get those two energy into the lost zone here. And this thing's kind of stranded. They can build up Raichu, I guess. And we don't have a boss in our discard pile to bring it in. Though we could yell grunt. But just like that, this Morpeko is now trapped. They can spark me. I don't know why they did not go Jirachi. If, bro, good thing they didn't though. Because we probably would have not gotten there. Or maybe we could have. But yeah, it's a good thing they did not go Jirachi. And yeah, they're kind of trapped here. They can obviously build up Raichu. But yeah, the power of Typhlosion, man. Just removing two energy into the Lost Zone does its thing. I don't know what they're playing though. It looks like they're playing some kind of like Lightning Box deck. And let's see if they attach the active or to the bench. They have to go to the bench, but they can't really do much with Coco. And they can't play Thunder Mountain because Kex Wells in place. Why the Kex Wells is really good for these lighting matchups. It's also good for fire though, so they can't play Heat Factory or obviously Giant Hearth. But let's see here if they have a way to stop my Typhlosion. Probably not, right? I think we're chilling. We can take two prizes. Yes, we're gonna build the toxicity. That's fine. Do they have a switch? Nope. They're gonna Cynthia though. Right, this is, I'm feeling a little bit good right now. Uh, we can go research here. Try to get this guy powered up. This hopefully can evolve into a thing. Oh, Rayquaza. And they don't even hit anything. What the heck? They play Celebi. Okay, I don't know what we're playing against. Doesn't matter. It looks like we're going to be winning this. Let me draw research. All right, well, that works too. We need to probably get Ordinary Rod now. Okay, nice. We got another Typhlosion, which is good. We actually could just go Malamar. But I'm actually just going to opt for the Typhlosion. Just in case we get knocked out next turn could happen you never know all right here we go blazing energy knock up the more Pekka, and yeah we're gonna take two more prizes don't know what exactly is prize but we'll see oh, we had a boss prize that's pretty good another supporter all right we got a lot of supporters we're bringing out the marnie the boss is good uh but it looks like they are just gonna offer the toxicity here that's fine because we're gonna remove two energy oh my gosh what's with these bad decks and playing kolga's trap man i swear all right, that's fine. We're just going to retreat. Like, I don't even know what we're playing against. We're not... Okay, obviously we're not playing against a great deck. I, it is what it is. The standard format is what it is. Let's just go Blazing Energy. Yeah, they just concede. They're like, we're out of here. We're out of here. I think I'm going to have the DHP shoot video guys on the Diflosion deck. Uh, yeah, I think we showed off everything it needed to do. Um, yeah, pretty fun deck. Again, I didn't get to play against Dragapult VMAX, which is what I was really hoping to run into, was a Dragapult VMAX deck, just to be able to kind of show off how you beat them by just going, get rid of their two energy with Typhlosion. But other than that, I mean, hey, Lost Flame might be kind of decent, even though this card is going to be rotating in like a month and a half from now. But other than that, I mean, hey, Typhlosion, we did its job, it did its thing. Uh, yeah, the only other cuts I make after recording this, I think the Team Yalgren is pretty bad. We never really got to use it. I think we should cut Team Yalgrunt for a second copy of Evolution Incense. I think that would probably be the best thing to take out. Um, I don't think we need the Yalgrunt. I think this can definitely go for another Evo Incense. Other than that, yeah, pretty fun deck. We did its thing. We got bodied by that ADP Dragonite deck. I did not see that Dragonite coming. But I don't know the video guys on at the Typhlosion deck. If you guys enjoyed today's future video, guys, drop a like video. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me over reaching 10,000 or 9,200 subs. Also, guys, make sure to check out the sponsor card coming down. TC down below, too. And again, guys, if you want to sign up for my Patreon, again, $2 pledges will get you some exclusive content. So, yeah, if you, just, if you can afford $2 a month for Patreon, you can sign up and you get some exclusive videos. A couple times a week from your boy. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, see you guys on a P show video tomorrow. Bye bye.